We've done our list on celebrities being banned from public places and such, but there's even more tea when it comes to celebrities being banned from countries. These celebs can be banned from places for all kinds of reasons, so let's take a look at some of them as we count down the top 10 celebrities banned from other countries. At number 10, Chris Brown. Chris Brown is really no stranger to getting in trouble. He's been in and out of the news over the years for his various incidents, from his assault on ex-girlfriend Rihanna, to other instances of fighting, violence, and even violating his probation, Chris has had his share of troubles. Add to this his list of countries he's been banned from as well because there are quite a few. The first country to make this list is the UK. Chris was denied entry and subsequently banned from the country in 2010 following his violent incident with Rihanna. After trying to enter the country for part of his tour of the UK and Ireland, the UK found that he had quote committed a serious criminal offense and therefore he would not be allowed entry into the country, citing that safety is a number one concern of officials. On top of that, the singer has also been banned from Australia and New Zealand for his violence as well, and he's also been banned from Canada for the same issues. Some bans have been lifted, for example that from the UK has seemingly been resolved as he's been recently seen in the country, but there's no official word from any other places. At number 9, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus being banned from China is really a case of your past coming back to haunt you and a lesson in insensitivity. Back in 2009, a photo was posted that showed Miley and her group of her friends posing with an Asian man and making incredibly rude and insensitive gestures in the photo. In the photo, Miley and her friends were squinting, pulling back their eyes, and making other mocking gestures. As this photo resurfaced online, it was found by Chinese officials, and the singer was banned from the country with the government's foreign minister saying, quote, Miss Cyrus has made it clear she is no friend of China or anyone of East Asian descent. We have no interest in further polluting our children's minds with her American ignorance, end quote. Since then, Miley has made two apologies. One where she said, quote, I've also been told there are some people upset about some pictures taken of me with friends making goofy faces. Well, I'm sorry if those people looked at those pics and took them wrong and out of contest. People say that was a pretty half-assed apology and I can kind of see why. Her second apology was a bit better where she said that she had learned her lesson from that, but I'm not sure if that was enough to welcome her back into the country. Before I continue, I just want to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video. Your likes really help us out, so if you're enjoying the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. At number 8, Justin Bieber. To discover that Justin Bieber has been banned from an entire country really doesn't come as much of a surprise. Justin has had a history of trouble from paparazzi fights to hitting people with his car and so many cases of assault and other unnecessary acts of deviance. So far in his career, the singer has angered a number of countries like Germany, Canada of all places, Mexico, and a number of others. But the one country that hates the Biebs the most is Argentina. Justin got himself banned from the South American country after, well, a lot of things really. Justin disrespected the country's flag during a concert after kicking and sweeping it off the stage, although he claims that he thought it was a shirt, not a flag, and he also allegedly ordered a bodyguard to assault a photographer outside of a nightclub and then stole the photographer's gear. An arrest warrant was issued for the singer, but he never answered the summons. According to Argentinian law, Justin can face prison time for the charges against him for anywhere between one month and six years. He is now banned from the country until the court case can be resolved. At number 7, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is known for two things, his music and his affinity towards the devil lettuce. One of those two things got him banned from Norway, and here's a hint, it wasn't his music. That's right, Snoop was banned from a country for one of the things dearest to his heart. The rapper was caught trying to sneak 8 grams of laganja estranja, if you will, into Norway back in 2012, and was arrested at the airport after dog sniffed out the illegal substances from his luggage. On top of that, he was also fined for carrying more cash than legally allowed in the country. As a result of these charges and fines, Snoop was issued a 2 year ban from the country, though being the late bad guy that he is, he didn't really seem to mind too much. He apparently had no plans to dispute the ban and instead paid his $8,600 fine and carried on his merry way. Man, what I wouldn't give to be as carefree as Snoop. At number 6, Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton has had her share of run-ins with the law in the past for DUI charges and drug charges. As one of the biggest names in Hollywood and being one of the wealthiest women in Hollywood, her previous felonies haven't affected her life too much, other than the fact that she isn't welcome in Japan. The heiress has been banned from Japan because of her past criminal offenses. Paris had plans to begin her tour of Asia to promote her fashion and fragrance line in 2010, but was stopped at the Tokyo airport after being denied entry into the country. The country has a strict rule against allowing visitors from other countries who have a record of drug offenses, and so after being denied entry, she was forced to cancel her tour and return to LA. It seems that money can't buy you everything. 
At number five, Akon. R&B singer Akon isn't really known for starting drama or being part of public controversies. In fact, recently he's been focused on building a city in Senegal called Akon City, so really, I'd call him unproblematic. But surprisingly, he became a little problematic for people in Sri Lanka after the music video for the song Sexy Chick, which featured the singer, was dropped. His music as well as music videos often includes some kind of sexual message, theme, or is just filled with beautiful half-naked people. I don't mind the content but others do, especially when the religion becomes involved. You see, with the sexy chick video, there was a brief shot where some girls in bikinis were dancing around and a Buddha statue was in the shot. The country of Sri Lanka took great offense to this because they are a primarily Buddhist country and seeing the statue in a sexualized setting was very offensive to them. Whether or not this was intentional was besides the point and so the country issued a ban on Akon. Additionally, this backlash caused violent protests towards an American talent agency. In response to everything, Akon issued a statement saying, quote, I'm a spiritual man so I can understand why they are offended, but violence is never the answer and I'm disheartened to hear about what happened in Sri Lanka. Akon is no longer welcome in the country, but that's okay since he's got an entire city to worry about now. At number 4, Beyonce. It doesn't seem like she can do anything wrong, but apparently she has and it's gotten her permanently banned in Malaysia. In a lot of cases, as we've come to learn through a number of people on this list, a lot of people get banned from countries because of their crimes, but Beyonce's case here is different and it's her wardrobe that gotten her ban from the country. Because of the country's Muslim leadership, they've deemed Beyonce too provocative for their culture, and so the singer is not welcome to perform, tour, or even simply enter the country. This all came from back in 2007 when Beyonce was scheduled to perform at a concert in Malaysia, but after officials deemed her costumes to be too revealing, they canceled the show and issued the ban. It is said that, quote, female performers at Malaysian concerts are required by government rules to cover up from the shoulders to the knees with no cleavage showing, and so since Beyonce is no for her body positivity and empowerment, she's often seen in more revealing clothing, so it's understandable that this ban would be issued. It's kind of crazy that a celebrity as big as Beyonce would be the subject of a ban, but hey, that's just show business. At number 3, Selena Gomez. One celebrity that I never thought would be banned from a country is Selena Gomez, but bleh, here we are. Luckily, her ban isn't the result of any kind of crime, but either way, the singer is not welcome in Russia. The reason for the ban is reportedly because of Selena's views on the LGBT community. Selena was planning the Eastern European part of one of her tours and she was applying for a visa in order to work and perform in Russia but was later denied, causing her to cancel that portion of her tour. Though no specific reason was given, it is alleged that she was denied entry because she supports LGBT rights and views. It is said that after having been advised by a US gay rights activist to use her platform in Russia to speak out about gay rights, the Russian government became afraid of what Selena might do or say and so in order to prevent her actions, they banned her from entering the country and performing. This all came about after the country's new anti-gay law was put into place and there being resistance, the government wanted to prevent people from speaking out about it. Singers like Madonna and Lady Gaga have also been banned from the country for speaking out about their support for the gay community, so Selena isn't really alone in this. At number 2, Lady Gaga. Speaking of Lady Gaga, she's not welcome in Indonesia it seems. After having planned a concert in Jakarta, the country's capital, the singer was banned from performing in the country three weeks before the scheduled gig because she was deemed a quote, corrupting influence. As she and her team were looking to secure the concert permit to perform in Jakarta, Indonesian law enforcement refused to issue the permit. On top of that, FPI chairman Salim Aladis warned her against trying anything or any funny business. The singer was receiving threats from extremists and after all the threats and hate being thrown her way, she eventually decided to back out of the concert. The chairman issued a statement regarding the singer's concert where he said, quote, FPI is grateful that she has decided not to come. Indonesians will be protected from sin brought about this mother monster, the destroyer of morals. Lady Gaga fans, stop complaining. Repent and stop worshipping the devil. Do you want your lives taken away by God as infidels? End quote. Because of this, she's not welcome in the country, and because of security reasons, maybe it's a good thing she can't return. At number one, the Beatles. Though the Beatles are a world-renowned group, it seems like one place that isn't the most welcoming of the band is the Philippines. An incident took place in 1966 that turned the entire country against the band, and it all had to do with the country's first lady. While in the Philippines as part of their world tour, the band was given an invitation to have breakfast with the first lady in Manila. They politely declined the invitation saying that they don't normally accept such formal invitations. Well, news broke of this snubbing and it turned the people against the boys to the point where they didn't know where to turn for help. The band started getting attacked by angry fans and they tried to get to the airport to leave the country and as they walked up to the terminal, people were shouting, pushing, kicking and spitting at them. Even some police officers joined in on the tyranny. The band was able to sneak away and hide amongst a group 
of monks until the coast was clear and they got onto their flight, but after that moment, they were not welcome in the country after that. So on the topic of countries, if there was one place you could visit that would be like your dream vacation, what place would that be? Let me know down in the comments, but speaking of comments, let's do some comment shoutouts from our video, Top 10 Celebrities Who Are Mean In Real Life Part 3. Handsaw Cut Cut says, you should do Top 10 Celebrities Who Are Nice In Real Life in the next video. I really like I, I, I like that idea a lot. We need some positivity on the internet. Prepper says, I now understand the term Tyrant Banks. She's so mean. She is mean and it took a lot of people a long time to realize it. But now, we see you Tyra. We see you. Derek Van Dusen said, couldn't find a better topic. Today guys, we are showing you the meanest celebrities part 45. Listen, as long as you guys are liking these videos, we're gonna make them. So if we get to part 45, 50, 100, so be it. We're doing this for you guys, so don't don't send me your hate. Thanks for your comments and for sticking around to the end of the video. I've been your host, Brie Room, and until next time, stay safe, do a good deed today, and stay groovy, friends. <laughs>